Hey guys, it's Kefalfa here. So uh, today is uh, is a Tuesday now, though I'm probably not going to post this till Wednesday because of the whole quest update today. But uh, but yeah, this video is about the weekend that we just had. So it was Stomp the Bosses weekend, but as well as that, we also had um, we also had double drops in certain places. Uh, Necks, uh, the rest of God Wars as well. Glaciers, Dagonoth Kings, Barrows. So basically, whatever level you were, you could have made quite a bit of money, whether it was solo and in a team as well. So that was that was another nice part of the update. You didn't necessarily have to find a team or be a certain level. You could do it your own way, and you could make money your own way if you wanted to. So yeah, it was quite a nice weekend. I was a bit it was a bit mysterious that they didn't allow us to do Corporal Beast or get double drops at Corporal Beast. That was a bit strange. I wonder what their thinking was there. Anyway, in terms of my weekend, um, I spent all weekend at Nex, and uh, and, it, and it turned out pretty well, I guess. Um, I was expecting just a little bit more, but um, but I guess what I got was you know enough, and uh, and a lot of people would have wanted as much as I got anyway. So uh, what I actually did get is I got two Torva legs, uh, two Torva plate bodies, um, and four Virtuous hoods. The um, the plate legs um, was a 45 mil uh, coin share drop. They were all coin share drops, by the way. 45 mil for the Torva legs, 35 mil for the plate body because we have more people for that. And uh, and unfortunately, I got uh, the uh, the virtuous hoods as well, which is probably the uh, the least expensive item. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I think it's between virtuous hood and and Zarite bow, but um. Not actually sure, but I think it was the worst, and if it was the worst, then we really were unlucky to get two of the drops, but yeah, so all in all, four virtuous masks, you could say, but the splits were eight mil and nine mil for the for the two virtuous mask drops um and so yeah, altogether that's uh, that's a hundred mil in the big drops, and then there were also lots of smaller drops where you made plenty of money as well, so for example, uh one of the drops that I got, which was a huge surprise was 10k blood runes and um, and that sold for 4 mil and also I don't know if you'd been following the prices of items during the weekend but they were they were really crazy I mean on Friday night just as the weekend started blood runes were selling at um uh, around 400 GP when I sold them and their GE price was 335 I sold all mine for 400 because I knew that people would want to buy them for glaciers um, and I sold my death runes as well for a pretty high price and um, and yeah and then about an hour later I was told that blood runes were now selling at almost 500 GP I don't know whether that was true or not um, and now if you try and buy a blood rune, you'll be able to buy blood runes for 285 GP. So I made a huge amount of money there. I sold all my blood runes. I sold the blood runes I got as a drop as well, all for 400 GP. So I made about, um, let's see, I made, well, no, I don't know what I made, but I made 4 mil on the drop it on its own. And, um, and yeah, now I'm buying them all back at 285 GP. So, uh, so a huge profit margin there. But um, but yeah, so that was one of the one of that was one of the lesser drops that was worth quite a lot. The four mil I got from the ten k blood runes. Uh, there were also, as you can imagine, there were torstal seeds, torstal herbs. All those drops were doubled as well. So I mean, instead of ten torstal herbs, you got twenty per drop. So in total, as as the actual complete drop, you would get like a hundred torstals. But uh, but obviously they were split between five people, so it'd be twenty per person or more if you managed to get more than one drop for the same boss um and yeah i got um what else was there there were onyx drops as well magic seeds uh torstal seeds um but yeah some pretty expensive drops that were well worth getting uh lots of rune ore as well i was getting plenty of that it was 40 per drop 200 per uh per uh, boss and uh and yeah i think i ended up getting about 300 of those so that was crazy as well um, all in all, I think I made about 120 mil in drops, though. I think 100 mil definitely from the big drops, probably about 20 mil from the smaller drops. If not that, then probably a bit more even. Um, but yeah, it was nice. And I didn't even have loot share points because I haven't been bossing for ages and ages. The last bossing event I went to was a DK's event, and that was the mass. So I hardly got any LSP there. But uh, but yeah, so I, I had pretty much no LSP. But then again, I guess it was the same for all the guys who were doing coin share because if it wasn't the same then they'd be doing loot share but um but yes yeah, so i got plenty of drops despite having no lsp at all um and then what else is there to say i don't think there is much um i haven't actually been to neck since uh since like its second week of uh of release so it'd been a long time since i'd been to next and before the event i actually went to uh, an ls mass just to get a bit of practice in before joining the cs teams during the weekend and uh 
and yeah, so it was nice to be back at Next again. And uh, and I I've forgotten how easy it was. It is actually quite easy. Though uh, it depends what kind of player you are. Um, there's basically two types of players. You're either just doing all the damage, and and that's pretty much it, or you're you're also having to tank a bit. And whether you tank or not depends on on your defense. Um, the defense, your level of defense, your your prayers, and also your gear. And unfortunately, I, I quite commonly found myself being the tank forcefully because I wasn't willing to spend any money on Pernix, which I thought would drop in price after the weekend. And I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to be it next to gain money and then lose money because I was having to sell the items for far less. And and that was the case with my gla my Glavens and my Armadil that I bought because I had to buy them for a little bit more than what I sold them for in the end. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to make the mistake with Pernix, which would have just been a bigger loss. So I was having to use Armadil, I was having to use um, Eagle Eye Kite Shield, and uh, and yeah, it resulted in me having the lowest armor defense, and therefore I was having to tank the whole kill. So that was a bit annoying. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. And then also just to mention it anyway, the last 30, 40 minutes of uh, of the weekend, of the whole 72 hours of the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday apparently um yeah for the last 30 40 minutes i went to glaciers didn't get anything there unfortunately i got plate skirts i got dragon maces i got you know the normal stuff rune essence and rather pure essence and uh, and water talismans i got four sh armadil shards i think they're called four of them i turned those into armadil runes and they sold straight away for about 1,500 each, so that wasn't that bad um but yeah i, I was just really hoping to get steadfast in the last 30 40 minutes and and probably annoy a lot of people because I'm sure there were lots of people who spent lots of time there and probably didn't get anything decent there. Um, and you know what? I was also thinking to myself as the weekend ended, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if anyone gets steadfast boots, you know, right now, right this minute after the uh, after the weekend is over, officially over, because that would have been a killer, wouldn't it? You get steadfast boots, but not getting double steadfast boots because you were late by about thirty seconds to a minute. That would have been wow. That would have been really unlucky. So. Anyway, that's that's pretty much everything. And what do you guys get? Let me know what you got. If you got steadfast boots, if you went next like me, if you went anywhere else. But uh, but yeah, I want. I still really wonder why they didn't do double drops for Corporal Beast, because I probably would have been there more than next, even though it would have been more unlikely I would have got a drop. But yeah, ne because Corporal Beast is just nice and easy to do, isn't it? So I really wonder why they didn't allow us to do that. And also, so we've had now three weekends, the May Madness weekends. Uh, we're all probably wondering what the next big weekend is going to be. Hopefully it's going to be something big. It could be something like Double Experience, you never know. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to what the next weekend might be because... I'm hoping it's just going to be bigger than this one because you would think that their final weekend, the big finale, would be the best, and uh, and I would have had this down as as the big finale, but apparently not. So maybe we've got double experience next week for a couple of days, or something. Even though it usually is only every six months, maybe they're going to just do it for you know for this special month or something. Um, and also, I'm I'm looking forward to KBD now even more because I've made a bit of money here with this weekend. I'm hoping to get a few dragon kites. Well, I say a few. I'll probably struggle to get even one. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm hoping to get something decent against the QBD once it finally comes out. So uh, so yeah, the money making is not over. Um, it is over for the weekend, but uh, but when QBD comes out, I'm probably going to be there 24/7. So looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, see you around.